All right, everybody. So I don't know if you remember a little game called Days Gone, but I remember when we were initially seeing clips for this game during like E3s and all those different things, it looked incredible. It looked like almost a predecessor to The Last of Us, that it was something from Sony that was going to carry on this kind of post-apocalyptic vibe genre game. And one of the coolest parts was that they had massive hordes of zombies that you would fight in this game the character seemed really intriguing and the combat seemed very interesting and scourging for parts to fix your bike and all these different things it seemed like a cool game and when it initially released it had a lot of bugs i was someone who pushed through them but there were moments where the game broke but overall i really enjoyed it and since then they've come out with updates that to be honest it just wasn't ready to be launched yet that sony was pushing for them to launch it that they kept delaying it and trying to uh do what needed to be done so that users didn't have that first experience but sony pushed it it came out and so people's initial first impression was not a strong one but now with all the time all the bug fixes having a ps5 hardware the game is really great now is it incredible is it like the last of us no but it's really good that i actually deeply enjoyed days gone i would give it a 7 out of 10 an 8 out of 10 somewhere in that range of like a really great game and one of those ips from playstation that was new that i really enjoyed and i don't know if you've noticed this but uh deacon from days gone is nowhere to be seen in any playstation marketing that playstation has essentially hidden this franchise for a variety of different reasons and they've kind of done away with it at the end of the day the biggest reason was that it just didn't make enough money in those initial sales that so when it had that 80 dollar price tag enough people didn't buy it that playstation moved on now they released the game with different sales and they even put it out for free um for playstation playstation users at one point and that created a whole new fan base who appreciates this game but it doesn't seem like we've been getting a sequel now we've heard about a sequel multiple times that maybe they're working on a sequel maybe the studio is actually going to be doing it maybe playstation will put some faith in this ip and give it another chance and to be honest i think out of all the new ips that have come along from playstation i greatly feel like this one was one of the ones that was deserving of a second chance to on better hardware produce another game to see if there's interest and to take the risk but by the sounds of things, that's officially not going to be happening. So let's dive into it together. It's kind of sad news because I'm someone who actually really enjoyed this game. So Kevin McAllister, who works for Ben Studio, is one of the heads of overseeing community relations and all these different things, officially addressed some of the rumors because we have been hearing people saying that, hey, Days Gone 2 might happen. And he said this, quote, I apologize to our Days Gone community for continuously getting fed false hope and poor information by people looking for likes. It's not fair to you all. We are currently working on a new IP, and when we have actual news to share, it will come from our studio. So, end quote. Again, this doesn't fully say that Days Gone 2 will never happen, but it's seeming really unlikely that from everything we've heard from insiders, PlayStation has wanted to move on from this IP. They don't want Ben to pursue it anymore. They want to kind of do away with it and have done everything in their power to do away with it by not even allowing Deacon to really be used as a mascot and have moved on. And it looks like the studio is now working on a completely different IP from Sony. And just to be honest, from my perspective, this is really sad. I actually really enjoyed Days Gone. I thought it was an interesting concept. I thought it was something that Sony should pursue further. And kind of the cherry on top to this news is that by the looks of things from insiders, Ben Studios working on a online multiplayer game. And... I am just so sick of those games and it feels like we've gotten so few single player great grand experiences from Sony for the PlayStation 5 so far that to get it something like a Days Gone 2 over just another new IP that's a looter shooter kind of online thing um, is really disappointing that when I imagine having an IP like that versus having potentially Days Gone 2 on the PS5, I feel like people would have been really pumped to get a sequel to that game and it would have made the PS5 feel a little bit more worth it. Um, but 
With that being said, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Uh, were you someone who enjoyed Days Gone? Were you hoping for a sequel to this game? Are you glad that they're moving on? Or are you upset at Sony for not giving this thing a second chance? Like, comment, subscribe, all that junk. And I will see you guys in the next one.